I am going to show you how to replace this white screen when you launch your Flutter app by a custom splash screen like this one. If this is something that you would like to learn, keep watching. For those who don't know, when your app launches, there may be some delay between when the user starts the app and when the first frame of the app is actually painted on the screen. During this time, Flutter shows a white screen called splash screen or launch screen. Launch screens are useful because they give the user the impression that your app is fast and responsive. But rather than showing this white screen, I will show you how to customize this launch screen to show your company's logo or an image related to your app. Since the steps to add a splash screen is different from Android to iOS, we will do the implementation for both platforms. And also, at the end of the video, I will share some best practices when implementing a splash screen. Let's start with the Android side. To properly display our splash screen in an Android app built with Flutter, we need two themes, a launch theme and a normal theme. Fortunately, the Flutter team has already created those two themes for us. Since December 2019, with the release of Embedding version 2, when you create a new project, the Flutter ships the sample apps with the two themes already created. The only things left to do are add in your image and background color. Let's do that right now. First, we will locate the Android folder in our project hierarchy. Then, in this folder, we will navigate to this path, Android, App, SRC, Main, Res, Drawable. And here, we need to add the image that we want to show in the splash screen. I have already added mine. Now, let's open this file, launchbackground.xml. As you can read in the comments, modify this file to customize your launch splash screen. The first thing we will modify here is the background color for the splash screen. By default, it is white. That's why when we launched the app, we saw a white screen. Let's change it to black. Now, if you restart the app, we will see a black screen when the app launches. As you can see, we have replaced the white screen by a black screen. Now, let's add an image over the background. Again, the Flutter team has us covered. You can insert your image assets here. Let's uncomment those line of codes and replace admipmap by addrawable slash the name of the image file. We will talk about the mipmaps later. Let's test it. As you can see, it shows the image centered in the screen, but it would be nicer if we could use another color in the background. To add a custom color, since we are doing this in the Android native environment, it is good practice to define a colors.xml file in the values folder. Now we can paste this piece of code. In this code, we are specifying a name and the value for the color using the hexadecimal format. Now let's use this background color in the launch background.xml. We will replace at Android color black by at color background color. Let's test it. I think it looks better now. Another thing that is important to mention is that you don't always want to put your launch image in this drawable folder, since your app will be used on different device sizes. It is preferable to put the different resolutions of your launch image in those mipmap folders and then let Android decide the appropriate launch image to show, depending on the device screen size, as I have done here. In that case, make sure that the image resource in the launch background XML is set to add mipmap slash launch image. So if you restart, we will have the same splash screen. The question you will ask right now is, where are the two themes that I was talking about earlier? As I said, the Flutter team has created the themes for us, so we don't need to modify them to customize the splash screen. But in the case you would like to implement a more complex launch screen, let me quickly show you how this works. Let's open the style.xml in the values folder. In this file, we have the launch theme and the normal theme. In fact, the launch background that we are modifying is being called here in the launch theme. Moreover, if we open the Android manifest.xml, we can see that when we launch the app, Android will show the launch theme first. Then, here, this metadata is to say, after the launch theme, the view should switch to the normal theme, which is defined here in the style.xml. Now, the other question is, why is this normal theme important? For Flutter, the normal theme is not really important since our Flutter widgets will always cover the entire screen. The view with the normal theme will be there 
but not visible to us. To be more precise, we could see this view. Because when Android has finished loading the app in memory, the Flutter engine will take some time to load the first frame of our app. During this brief period, we could see the view with the normal theme. However, to simplify our tasks and improve the user experience, the Flutter team added this metadata in the Android manifest.xml. This code means that when the Flutter engine is loading, instead of showing the normal theme, keep showing the launch background as splash screen. So, if we want to see the normal theme, we can just commit this part of the code, change the color of the normal theme, and relaunch the app. As you can see, the normal theme was visible for a brief period. Then, our app's widgets cover it. Therefore, as a recap for Android, when your app starts, it shows the launch theme that is defined by the launch background.xml. Then, it switches to the normal theme. But, because of this metadata here, in the Android manifest.xml, it will keep showing the launch background until Flutter starts painting the first frame of the app on the screen. For the iOS platform, the customization of a launch screen is more straightforward. There's no coding required to achieve that. When you create a new project, Flutter automatically adds a splash screen with a white background and a blank image. It does this by including an Xcode storyboard named launch screen dot storyboard that can be customized with your own assets. You could customize it by replacing the launch images here with your images and updating the content.json file as specified in this readme file. But fortunately, Apple made it extremely easy to modify the launch screen in Xcode using the interface builder by drag and drop. Let's do that right now. We will start by launching our project in Xcode by writing this command in the terminal. Make sure that you are in the root folder of your project. Now that we are in Xcode, let's select Runner, then Assets.Xcode Assets from the Project Navigator. And here, we have our launch image that we want to change. We only need to drag and drop the appropriate image sizes to those placeholders. We need to provide the image at different resolutions, 1x, 2x, and 3x as specified in the Apple's Human Interface Guidelines. The link will be in the description below. Let's run the app to test the changes that we just made. As you can see, we still have a white background. Let's change that by providing a background color. Again, this is very easy to do. This time, we will select the launch screen storyboard in the project navigator, then go to the attribute inspector and change the background attribute of the storyboard to the color we want. If we restart the app again, we will see our splash screen. Now that we know how to customize the launch screens for both platforms, it's important to keep in mind some best practices or recommendations. One, avoid text. Using text on your launch screen is discouraged because the content in a launch screen doesn't change, any display text won't be localized. Two, avoid static image. Don't use a static image for your launch screen. Any used images should scale well for different screen sizes. Therefore, use images with different resolutions. Put them in the mipmap folders for Android and in the appropriate image placeholder for iOS. Links will be in the description below. 3. Don't advertise. The launch screen is not a branding opportunity. Don't design an entry experience with a lot of animation or that looks like an about window. And 4. Nearly identical to the first screen. The launch screen should be as close as possible to your app's first page. The closer your splash screen gets to your first page, the smoother your app's first impression will be. The best way to learn is by doing. Now, go improve your app user experience by customizing the splash screens. But if you would like to continue learning about Flutter, watch this video or that video. Since you made it so far, please give us a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future contents.